Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be answering questions about my signal chain, where I get my bases, and more. So be sure to stay tuned for all the questions. First and foremost, Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks a lot for the support and just all the love during uh, 2020 and the start of the channel and the growth of the channel. It's been really awesome to see the channel grow so quickly and uh, interact with all of you people. I look forward to what 2021 has in store and let's keep on keeping on guys. I mean, this has been great. So to the first question, what amp do I use? For all my videos thus far, I've been using an Orange Crush 50 BXT. Now, yes, that is a practice amp. That is an Orange Crush 50 BXT, a 50 watt practice amp that has a dedicated line out. And now that line out goes direct into my Focusrite Scarlet 4i4. And then from there, I record using Reason 11 for my bass audio. I don't alter the signal in any way. I don't use any effects, amp simulators, or anything like that. It's simply this dinky little practice amp going direct into my Focusrite. Now you may be asking, Lobster, you have all these bases, why are you using such a cheap little amp? This is not my main amp. This isn't the amp that I use for gigs and stuff like that. I have an AccuGroove Tri-112 cab paired with an Aguilar Tonehammer 350 head, and that's what I use when I'm out and about. However, uh, in my basement, this combo more than suffices, and I think it sounds great. It's affordable at around, I think it was $300. And I think it's representative of what the bass is going to sound like in other people's homes and uh, situations. It's not a crazy expensive amp, and I want to show what these basses sound like through an everyday amp and not thousands of dollars of equipment. And as you've seen thus far, the result has been pretty good. I also do this for another reason. Giving you guys the access to the raw audio, you can put your own effects and amp simulators on it. Um, and I can make a separate video to show you guys how to do that using OBS as a tool to capture the audio and even video from my YouTube videos and putting that through your own simulation devices, be it amp simulators, effects, etc. on your computer. So let me know down below if you'd like to see a video about that. As for all the video production stuff, um, I am using a Canon M50 camera and that is with a 22 millimeter wide angle lens to give me the whole depth of field thing. So like I'm close and the, the background's blurry and it gives you that nice effect. Also works nice in low light situations. I'm in a basement right now. I do have some bright lights here, but outside of that, it's not the brightest environment down here. For mic audio, I am using a uh, lanyard mic. I, I think any lanyard mic will really do. There's nothing special about this one. It's one of the Rhodes ones. And uh, that is going direct into the camera. I'm not processing that through the computer. It's just going onto the camera. It's part of the video and that's what I do. For video editing, I'm using Adobe Premiere and for photo editing or icon editing, thumbnail editing, things like that, I'm using Photoshop. Now I've also been asked, what's the specs of my computer? I have uh, two computers. I have a dedicated gaming computer and then a workstation in which I do all my video and audio production. The workstation is running a Ryzen 3900X 12 core, 24 thread CPU paired with 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz cache latency 16 memory on a B450i Strix motherboard, an SF600 Corsair power supply, and a EVGA RTX 2060 in that particular machine. In my gaming rig, I'm running a Ryzen 5600X and a RTX 2080 for the Win 3 from EVGA. Here's a picture of, of both of my PCs there. I like the whole small form factor thing because it's very portable and, and I don't know, I just like building in the, in the small spaces. On to the next question. Where do all these bases come from? Are manufacturers sending me bases? Are people sending me bases? Um, no, the, I buy the majority of my bases outright and then I sell them after I review. I usually sell for a small loss. However, I do recoup most of the cost from the ad revenue that I get from YouTube. As of July, I was monetized. Some of my friends do send me bases, like our good friend Kevin. Uh, Nino Valenti from Valenti Bases sent me a base, and I appreciate that. I've known him for a long time as well. 
people have sent me bases and uh, I appreciate that. However, I've never been paid by any manufacturers or have, no one's ever reached out and said, hey, will you do a review for us and here's some money or anything. I haven't re received any money or any instruments or anything for free. Um, I buy the instruments that I review or I borrow them from a friend. However, I'm always trying to approach things from the perspective of a consumer and I'm not trying to get any special treatment from anybody because that's not what you guys are going to get and I want to be representative of the experience that you guys will have with these instruments. That's why I put my money on the line so I can be as objective as possible and not say, hey, this instrument is great because they let me keep it and it's free. Like, that's not how we do things around here. Now in regards to how I have so many basses, I'm actually very fortunate to have a very lucrative career outside of music. I'm not a musician full time, I'm not a gigging or touring musician, I do gig occasionally, however, I am a hobbyist. I started the channel because I never really saw myself as like, you know, the best bass player out there, or, hey, check out my chops. Uh, don't get me wrong, I know that I can play the instrument and I can, I can play it well. But I never was out there saying, you know, hey, check out this lick I can do. I, I, I'm not here to show off my chops. Instead, I'd like to analyze the instruments and I like to look at the construction, look at the tones, uh, or listen to the tones. You can't really see tones. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Um, I just like to take a deep dive into the instruments and get to know the instrument versus try to show off like the skills that I have because there's a lot of great bass players out there that are way, way better than me. So I feel like I don't really have anything to say in that space because I'm just a guy who likes to play bass. And I love to see how these instruments have evolved over time, the new designs coming out, the new engineering feats that have been done, and I really love bass, so <laughs> that, that's why I do these things. Another question that's asked a lot is, how long have I been playing bass? I've been playing for uh, about 18 years now. It's 2020 and I started my freshman year of high school in I think 2002. Um, I was taking guitar lessons originally. I wanted to play bass, but when I told my dad, hey dad, I want to play bass, he said, well, we'll see how your grades are. Now he was a guitar player, so I said, I wanted to play guitar. Off to Guitar Center. But I didn't really enjoy playing, you know, six string guitar. I, I didn't like it, it wasn't for me. And after understanding how fretted instruments work a little bit, I tried to be the bass player in the school musical at the time, Les Mis, and I did it. It was an awesome experience that was just, you know, diving <laughs> headfirst into a new instrument and understanding where it sits in the mix and with everybody else and that whole dynamic. That was really awesome. Um, and from there, it grew and grew, and here we are. Another question I get asked is, why do you make all these videos? Um, I just like to, I don't know, have a, an unaltered record of what these instruments, I guess, sound like, uh, so people can look them up and make an informed decision. There's a lot of brands out there and a lot of models ranging from, you know, things like Harley Benton and stuff that are 100 bucks to things like Federa that are $10,000 and beyond. And there's a lot of bases in between. And I think it's important that we document that. So that's why I do these things. Well, I think that'll do it for this brief q and I'm gonna go ahead and link this in um, all of my videos. That way people can reference it and know what amp I use, what my signal chain is and stuff like that. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it as quickly as I can. And other than that, you guys take care and until we groove again.